she is just she's beautiful hello friends welcome we're gonna do a quick uh not quick they're not my videos are never quick i'm sorry let me let me not say that <laughs> we're gonna do an updated flip of my everyday use i can't say carry because i don't carry her anywhere because i mean unless i go out very rarely but my everyday um, planner, my little MM agenda. This is the personal size, not to be confused with Big Papa, which is this is the bigger size. Um, and then my little wallet, my PM one. I'm back using her because I was in the plotter one, and I switched bags. And I don't want to, I don't want to carry the little like business card case because I, I like to carry what I carry. <laughs> I'm gonna show you real quickly this. I love this is my favorite part of this planner like it's just there i just take my card out it's on the go um this hasn't changed i need a i need a hug i need a huge amount of money <laughs> that hasn't changed i'm gonna have to probably make a new one because it's been like ugh, i've used this previously a lot these are the only two cash envelopes i have in here which is my too tired to cook um and my get gas ones um these were done with that matte uh laminating paper I don't offer the mat, but people have requested oh, very few requests, um, just to let you guys know. <laughs> so if you see them out there, yes, I did make them, okay? Um, and then I have my little, look, look at my little pen that I got. I just purchased that little backpack from Hobby Lobby. It was like a little mini backpack that came with the notebook, or the stickies, a mini ruler. But because I really wanted this tiny pen, it's just there. I never use it. It's just for deco. <laughs> And then this, I want to show you guys because people had asked me where did I get these credit card inserts and from Jess at JNL So Cute. I had shown them on my Instagram. I don't want to flip in the middle because I didn't cover it. I just covered this, but you could fit two cards in the front, two in the back. This first one is all clear. The other one, she did like the background with the Sanrio characters. I can't even show. I should have covered it, but anyways, hold on. I'm going to edit this and I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so this is the, <laughs> this is the clear one. I cover that up but you fit two cards two cards on the front and this is the one that i was telling i had to ask i had seen this design that she had it's like a jelly design and i'm like jess can you make an insert with that so she did that that's the background you can't really see it when you put the cards on top but it's so cute i know that it's there and i love it and she also makes these little pouches check her etsy shop out she's really really talented and i look at that i love this so much and then the back, I have a little like um, business card and my nail, my nail place discount card because they'd be charging too much at times. <laughs> but yeah, this is my little wallet and I love her. I love her so much. I've been thinking about moving and trying out the little pocket planners that we still have in the shop. I might, I might, I just might. But for now, look at her and my piggies that I've always had. It's just like my baby. So that's my wallet. Now we're going to get into this a beauty right here because i've added some stuff so just deco pretty much a lot of deco i moved some stuff around just to make planning a little bit easier for me uh once again this is a personal size this bow is from a line that erin condren did with hello kitty I mean, a couple like three four years three years ago four years ago i don't know but I don't you can probably find them online not on Erin Condren website but like eBay or something or um, Mercari I know some people have found them but it's a cute cute bow my charms have changed a bit I don't have the bigger ones I put the mini ones here this little one I I got from one of the little swaps at go wild it's like a little heart and oh my that's my little Lulu the pig one sticking out and I, I love charms I try not to put so many because sometimes they get caught or if I you know do put them in a the bag yeah it's not and then all my bow tabs that I make so we're gonna get into this baby let me make sure she's in frame and yeah she's a chunk of chunk right now because like I said I added some more monthly ones but I think I'm gonna I have to take some stuff out in my pockets these change all the time um right now it's I love this so much. This is from Liz. Um, I'm gonna put her Instagram page. She creates a lot of enamel stuff. This is just a paper clip. Look at that. Look at this. Uh, I don't want it to get stuck. Look at this. How cute is that? I love it. I love it. And then this I also got as a freebie from Go Wild. <laughs> I love Go Wild freebies. This was my Benito, my VIP, um, when we went to see him backstage pass. I love it. I love it. It's just so cute. It's so random. <laughs> These are just like little uh, papers that I got from when we went to the American Dream Mall. And there was like a, not the mini sale, but a, another store that carry uh, Hello Kitty stuff. These haven't changed to do more of what makes you happy. I have this in my, like, I love this. It's not, it's always going to be with 
in my planner somewhere. The affirmation card as well. Just a little deco. I used to carry sticky notes here, but I realized that it's more easier to have the sticky notes in certain areas of my planner. This is from years ago. Yeah, 1998 when I started working at the Hello Kitty store. Um, and they had these little cards back then. Look at it. I love it. Uh, because back in the day, I thought I was going to live in the city. I was going to be a city girl. But yeah, plans changed. <laughs> I was all about New York. <laughs> so right here, like I said, I love... One of the reasons why we started creating is because I changed my moods a lot. Um, and one thing that I love about rings is that you can change the deco at any time, right? I've always talked about, oh, I wish I could do like a Hobonichi cousin and like a book bound. But with that, you can't really decorate as much. And you, once you can't remove stuff out unless you rip the pages. Whereas the rings, and this is a 25, is it 25 millimeter rings? Yeah, I think it's 25. It's not a big 30 millimeters, which I know the Moturn planners have the rings bigger, which I would love for LV to come up with bigger rings, but they like it small and it's okay. I've, I've learned to manage the smaller rings. Um, but yeah, I love creating, you guys know, we, <laughs> me personally, I love matchy matchy my tabs, matchy matchy the bow tabs, a lot of bow tabs. Um, and this is that newer, um, this is the last design we did with like the Lulu design with the little Lulu piggy stuff. And I just love this so much. This is just like a front dash. Life isn't perfect, but my planner is. That is so true. <laughs> at least I think it is. Look at that little cute. This I also got as a freebie from Go Wild. Whoever had these, I'm still yet to look them up on Amazon, but I want to get a whole bunch of these because they're just so cute. Um, here is one of the freebies that we have in our shops. Um, the Create Inspire one. Just a few ways that you can uh, support our small business. I try to include this with bigger orders. We do a lot of freebies as it is. <laughs> But I thought it was really cute. I like that a lot. This have, has definitely not changed. Has been in my planner for the longest time. Um, you guys have seen this. We have this in the shop. My old Familia pick. This is not going to go anywhere. I did switch out. I had the Flora one before. But I went with the Leopard one this time. You get to choose your own wording there. So it's just a little die cut sticker. My Do Not Compare. This is the original one, the original edge cutout uh, dashboard, but we switched it up to add vellum now because this was a pain in my mm to do and I hated it. That's why I had removed it because it was just horrible to put the hollow on top of the laminating sheet. I would waste so much stuff because it just wouldn't, there'll be too many bubbles. It was just, ugh. I removed it and then somebody requested it and I was like, you know what, let me try to do the hollow on top of vellum to make it easier and it just works perfectly fine um this one is laminated the vellum one doesn't come laminated but you guys are loving it so thank you so much this was when i was playing around with the cutouts and it's just been stuck in my planner i love the layering <laughs> this is my go wild ticket i just have it there for a reminder deco this hasn't changed just some quotes um I added my little I love my chapstick to my gratitude chart. This is the original one. Um, and yeah, it's always going to be there as something significant happens in my life. I'll just put something that I'm grateful for. In the back, I just put the little Just Breathe card. Look at little Sophia. I love daisies. Margaritas, daisies are my favorite flower. This one I've had for a bit and I just love this. I love the little stamp deco. Uh, this has the LV design on top of the laminated gold bow insert. We have those in the shop. A lot of the things we have in our shop. This is my planner insert size guide for me. I reference this a lot. <laughs> and then the back, yeah, me and my girl, me and my baby. She looks so young. This is um, a calendar. So this, there's no section on this. I have my tabs that say um, planet, make it happen. Familia and Dinero. Like those are my four categories that I've always used when planning. This front part is mainly deco, cute stuff that makes me happy, stuff that I may need like this calendar. I track uh, monthly periods there. Uh, here it's another tracker. I track haircuts, car wash, especially it started with just a car wash because I, you know, we have a monthly subscription and I want to make sure that we're using it full force. And like December, we didn't use nothing. <laughs> Cause it was like good snowy weather crappy weather i don't know but i like to keep track when was the last time that you know the kids got a haircut me and sophia well we went to get our nails and so forth so just as a reminder i don't 
track a lot of things, but certain things I need to just to keep in mind of how often we get those things done, especially your nails. Because <laughs> lately, yeah, little Miss Sophia, um, yeah. This has not changed. You are always enough. I don't have this in the shop. I just made a little uh, vellum, no, uh, vinyl, and I just added it and laminated. You, there's so many things that you could do with vinyl and just laminating stuff. This is just like a clear sheet. Got my Lulu the pig there. This is one of those dash covers that we um, added to the shop. To, it's all matchy matchy. So it's like bow, bow, bow. Um, this is another little bow uh, vellum foiled insert. This is my what did you buy now? And a lot of people carry this in their finance, but I keep it on the front because I've always had it in the front. And it's I know that I, I need to track what what I purchased, especially when it comes to online orders, because it's hard to keep track of for me. I just write it down um, where I purchased it, date, where I purchased it, how much it cost, did S for shipped, A for arrived. Cause you know, they ship it, but did you get it? So I always keep track of that. This is an old die cut. Um, I made that with the leftover ribbon. I still have more ribbon <laughs> with uh, when I got the LV stuff. Um, this is something new. I did this. This was uh, the plastic thing from Pip Sticks that had the Hello Kitty stuff and just added a bunch of cute stickers from Go Wild. These are not mine. These were gifted in the swap bags and I thought it was really cute as a reminder. This is a special picture of new friends that I've met. I met a lot, a lot of people. Um, and it's just like a cute reminder of that time. It's super, super cute. I love this. This is my inbox. <laughs> I'm loving my inbox. I know everybody has their own different way of using inboxes. Um, mine is more about sticky notes. And even though I have calendar after calendar, I like to write down like dates as reminders because I take this out. And I use this when I'm planning my week. So it just makes it so much easier. Um, so inbox is just like whether it's kids, uh, school stuff, something that's coming up, baby showers, birthdays, concerts, la da 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 da, Johnny's got a day off or stuff like that, that I'm going to need to have that information to plan my week or plan my month. So I usually keep sticky notes here and I love this so much. Um, and then I added one of those little um, pen holder adhesives from Amazon. This really matches the planner color. My boys, I love. I'm a big Supernatural fan. I wish I could have... Every time I forget, right, that they do meetups, that they do, like, uh, conventions. And by the time I go see it's sold out. Like, to do a photo app or whatever, it's always sold out. But one day I'm going to get to meet you boys. And I'm going to bring my little poppets so you guys can sign them. <laughs> That's me. Coffee, please. Um, I really have not... Since February 6th, I've had maybe two cups of coffee. Yeah. Why? Because when I have coffee, I have a lot of sugar with it and milk and it affects my rosacea, my face. And when I stop drinking it, my face has gotten so much better, but I do miss it. I, I miss coffee. I need coffee in my life. <laughs> so now we get into my planet. Okay. Like I said, everybody has their own way of planning. Everybody carries their own things, trackers, whether you're a tracker or you like to journal or you like to keep track of everything. Some people have morning routines listed. I don't this is all based on my lifestyle and I already know my routines. Well, majority of the time. <laughs> uh, one thing I would like to incorporate though, it's like a cleaning list, like the yearly cleaning, like dusting of the, the, the moldings, maybe like deep cleaning days, something like that. Because I've, I've realized that, yeah, I've seen people use that and track it. And I think it's really good. Like how often do you wash your bed sheets? How often do you, you know, all that stuff. Maybe I'll add it. I don't know. But for now, I basically plan my month, I plan my weeks, I plan my kids' information, and my budget. My budget is the most important thing, but I always keep it in the back, you know, kind of safely secure. So plan it pretty much. Um, this is like on cardstock. I wanted something thick so I can add this adhesive pocket in here because this comes to my monthly planning. This is just like a little laminated hollow bow I had. This is the Robin card. <laughs> everybody loves the robin card um what is out of your control and what's in my control you know it's a good reminder it's a good reminder ah there it is this is a fresh this is like a fresh new um holiday i have to add memorial day i don't have it right yes i do yes i do but i used it mm, i thought i didn't have it okay we have it there um these are just little stickers that i use um these are to block off the 
the months, once the months pass, I put a little sticker on there. A lot of people use different stickers. That's like the ones that I like to use. Um, so I keep this, my car wash stickers, which I used to use on my monthly, but now I use more on my weekly. Um, dentist, doctor appointments, just stuff that I'm, I know I'm going to need when I'm planning out my monthly stuff. And this is like a sticky um, sleeve. I got these off of Amazon. You guys could find them. There's so many out there. But yeah, it's just like a cute little pocket with the main stickers that I use when it comes to that. This is just a vellum sheet with the important dates. Um, and as they pass, I just remind myself to highlight them. This is um, my quarterly calendar. We also have these in the shop. Look, there's Lulu. This was part of like the coffee box. Um, the coffee box? Yeah. <laughs> I sometimes make special little magnets. They're not like the greatest magnets. They probably hold a page or two, but it's deco purposes. You guys, everybody, a lot of people make these, but I just only make them for certain occasions. Like you cannot buy these in my shop. Um, so yeah, that's what makes it special. But yeah, they do clip. They're, they're cute. But I keep my quarterly calendars here. This is primarily for birthdays strictly for birthdays um and this and dental appointments or doctor appointments that's it i don't put paydays here or nothing this is just every year it's the same thing because i love to either call someone on the phone i don't like to send text um yeah if i know you personally i want to wish you a happy birthday or the phone send you a card send you something so it's a constant reminder of the birthdays that i have coming up so that's that and this we go into my monthly this is another little bow this was when we uh, did the little Lulu the pig, the little icons and stuff. That when was it last? Yeah, this past month <laughs> uh, in May. <laughs> this went out to the people that purchased during that time frame, and it's so cute. This is my this month uh, tab. Oh, it's so cute! Look at it. It came out so cute. I like, like I said, we have these inserts in the shop. I keep it very simple when it comes to monthly, like a little bit of deco nothing major i love to see white spaces it makes me feel like you know not so chaotic um but here is where i track my um budgeting like when my hubby gets paid when i get paid um holidays if the kids are off you know like on vacay and stuff like that birthdays did i say that yeah so basically that's what i use my monthly so compared to the quarterly it's just birthdays written down i take that info and then fill out this with my budgeting this was also a little cute paper clip that I got as a freebie. This just has uh, when we went to the Bad Bunny and a rake panorama tour, which is coming up. I can't wait. So yeah, so that's my monthly planning. Um, I have three more here to fill out. So this will be for, this is what it looks like for uh, June, July, August. And they're slightly lined as you see, because I hate writing crooked and I don't, I need lined spaces. Like I don't, I can't do blank. I, I just once my writing is crooked it just uh, makes me want to throw out the page for some reason and I just like like it neat so <laughs> those are there then we get into make it happen we also a lot of the inserts we have in our shop whatever you see and you don't find just let me know but I love to customize a lot of things for myself I like my own inserts because I've tried other ones and this is just what works for me this belongs to the composition book one. We have this in different designs and there's also an option to request whatever previous vellum design we've done. You can create it into a um, composition notebook insert. So just FY, FYI. <laughs> so this belongs to me, Okie. Okay. Another baby clip. I love these baby clips. This is the uh, current week. This has been here forever. Look at it. Yeah, guys, these, by the way, after a while, wear and tear whether it's the tabs or stuff these don't last forever okay so don't come at me i haven't had a situation but if you're expecting these to last you forever they're not <laughs> like especially when you slit them like it's gonna be wear and tear like i use this a lot that's why i reprint my stickers and always add a new tab once it's worn out really bad but this one's still good got my little bats maru little sophia and the duetas this is my favorite one um but i usually keep this here so the way that I plan, okay, if this is the first time you're watching my video, I have my, well, <laughs> this is kind of like my daily dump, my daily checklist. Um, I don't do hourly, I used to, but right now what's been working for me is like I wake up 
I write down all the things that I need to do. Whatever doesn't get done gets pushed over to the next day and so forth. As you can see, June freebies weren't done. <laughs> They're done now. But, and so on. So this is like on the left side. And then now, because Robin requested the weekly on the left, like to kind of match the Hobonichi weeks, we have an option to have it on the right or have it on the left. I keep it this way because it just works for me. I usually just keep what I have to do for home, what I have to do for my shop, uh, deco. I always need to have deco because it just makes me happy. I'm a sticker planner girl. Uh, my little menu box, sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll write the menu down here depending, but I try to stick to what I'm going to plan to cook. But there's certain days that I'm tired and I don't want to cook. I don't, I don't want to cook. I'll order or whatever it is, but I'll just make a little note down here on the days of what I did. So that's the daily one. And this is the weekly. This is the one I just did for this week. Uh, it came out so cute. So this is what it looks like. Well, for next week. Um, that's my daily. Like I said, I love stickers. I have a sticker shop with my daughter. <laughs> so we create cute things. Stickers just make me happy. Look at that. It's so, so cute. And then this one is usually for the current week. This one I usually have here. Because since this, I made the bow even bigger. Cause I just want to grab it from the front and just, okay, this is my daily boom. And then this is for the week. Perfect. And it just goes on like that. I don't, I used to keep like a whole bunch of extra papers here, but because of the rings not being so big, it just gets super bulky. And I did not like that. It always like, Oh, I'm like, no. So now it's okay. I just have the week. And then when it's time to plan for the next week, I add the other week there. Well, okay, what if stuff comes up? Where do you write it down? Well, that's why I have my inbox. I write dates down. I have extra sticky notes here. And from there on, once again, I plan my monthly and I plan my weekly. So that's just how I've been doing it. It's been working for me. Like I said, sometimes I'll switch to a daily insert. Sometimes I'll switch to like using one of these. This is a personal size paper by the way yes let me note that because a lot of people are like oh your inserts look big yes this is not a personal size even though the planner is a personal size i like to make my inserts bigger mine are four inch wide by 6.9 this is the actual personal size which is 3.75 by 6.75 so when you you see my inserts stick out a little bit more i just always like always i've used personal size before a lot like a lot but then i realized that i do like a little bit extra space i don't know it's just me so i had to reformat all my inserts are completely different than the personal size ones that you guys get to purchase <laughs> if you're ever interested in this bigger size let me know but then it's gonna look awkward okay because i've had people oh can i have your size i'm like yeah I can make it for you. However, it's going to stick out more than your other inserts. And that might be a bother to some. It might not. But yeah, I could definitely offer. Well, no, I'm not going to post my size. Just, if you want to just let me know. Okay. <laughs> it's just a little bit bigger. <laughs> so that's my weekly planning. Like I said, I don't add extra inserts unless I have to. But it's usually the week that I'm on and the next week that if I've already planned it out or not. Keep it simple. My Familia tab. I love this. This has definitely changed. Um, I've had this before, but I didn't set it up like this. This is our uh, Mother's Day tradition. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I'm a very visual person, and this makes me so happy, and it makes me sad at the same time. It makes me happy because I get to see my kids every Mother's Day. I'm like, we get in that bed, we take a picture, cheese, and snap it. But it also lets me see how how fast my kids are growing so and this is the newest one uh, i did a little deco here this my hubby this, that's johnny that's why my kids look like johnny <laughs> that's okay that's me and my audi I, i've been requested to do a mercedes and a honda i'm i'm gonna work on it it is what it is guys because that's one of my sayings it's just it is what it is don't stress about it this is the one from this year look 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 at them look how tiny look how skinny frank was look <laughs> i love this it makes me so happy. But like I said, it also makes me feel like, man, I'm getting old and my kids are also growing so fast. I'm so proud of them. And I left this empty so I can continue taking pictures. Super, super cute. Um, this is like, has been in my planner forever. This is like an old picture Sophia did of our family. <laughs> I cover some info there, but this was like Christmas of 2015. Look at that, so tiny. I don't know, but like my familia section, 
I love to see pictures, but I can't have pictures everywhere because otherwise it will not fit into this planner uh, because of the size of the ring. So I can, I'm only limited to certain pictures and like these are by far my favorite pictures. So that's like my little kids. This is when we went to the um, uh, Prime America Gala, my, me and my hubby. Um, I blocked that off for info, but here's all their kids' pictures like as the years pass by. That's my baby when he was a baby. And that's when me and my hubby first started dating. Look, look how young we were. That's one of my favorite pics um, in the older house that we had back here. You guys have seen this. Um, that's my uh, wedding picture with my hubby. I'm like, that's right. Thank you. Good luck. That's me and my brother, Georgie, who's in Peru. He's a doctor, um, psychologist. He's, I'm so, te quiero, hermano, te quiero. I'm so proud of him. Uh, I'm also proud of my, not her. No, <laughs> I love you, Tati. These are my other siblings here. That's my brother, Josie, my sister, Maite who lives with me and that's annoying little daddy no i love you so much daddy she's in texas so and my brother lives in long island so we don't get to see them as much so it's just look how pretty i look look at my hair i think i did my hair nice that day yeah it was for like uh christmas time but yeah well, favorite pictures once again this is so cute um they had an event in school oh no that was, was um fun town life town um with uh frankie's class and they took a picture of him. He looks so cute with the glasses. So I just kept that. This is like an older picture that Sophia did of herself like way back. And I've always kept this. I had to laminate it because it was like ripping. And I don't want to lose this because I don't have the original file. It was an appropriate and Frankie. It, well, in the back, way back three years ago when we started drawing and creating on the iPads, we had the Procreate program. And yeah, Frankie deleted the program <laughs> with a lot of files. And that was one of them. Yeah. So there's a lot of older designs that we can't remake unless we redraw, redraw everything, which we have been and updating. Um, this is just a little like no card from the shop. I want my child to be. I love this. I love this. It's so important here. Um, like I said, I love to customize inserts for myself, stuff that I really need. Um, and I needed like a dental and health tracker because sometimes like when was the last time you, you know, what's their weight? I don't know my kids weight like I, and I only go by what the last time they were there. I try to update as much as I can. But this is like dental and health. Uh, it has my kids when's the last time like if they went to the doctor, why did they go to the doctor? Did I have to pay a copay? Notes? Did I get a note for school? La la la. la. So I try to keep that there as a reference and also reminder. This is another one that I've had here. I had to laminate too that Sophia did. This is my missed school days. <laughs> because sometimes I'm like, wait a minute. I sent a, a note, you know, like I just try to like try to keep track of this. So we have that. That's an extra one. This is just like a little vellum, deco vellum. Um, this is my kid's school calendar. You guys can get this off. From the district um i think so important i've always had this and it's like a you know kind of like when you're planning your months you got to know when your kids days are off uh, <laughs> i felt that coming to remind you when your kids days are off okay you can't even talk because i was trying to hold my sneeze in and i wanted to finish talking <laughs> I use this to make sure that I'm not missing any days off uh, for the kids. I thought they were going to be off on that Tuesday, but they're not. They actually have school. So anyways, and school ends soon. I can't believe it. Okay. This is my hubby's calendar too. When he's got off, when he's on call, la di la di la. Um, this is just one of my favorite vellums. Girls just want to have fun. And from here we go into my, oh, this is my passwords. Yes. I'll say this over and over again. I keep my passwords in my planner. Like I said, this planner stays at home 99% of the time. <laughs> I don't really take this out with me. Um, unless like when I want to go out, if I travel and have to pay my bills, I need this because my passwords are there, but I keep it safe and sound. Um, this is George the pig that uh, Frankie wrote, uh, drew for me and I love it so much. I love this. Do I have this in the shop? I don't even... I'm a, I have to make this. Look around. All that clutter used to be money. All that money used to be time. Because when you look. At, anyways. It's a cute quote. These are my passwords. I'm not going to flip there. Yeah. I'm not going to flip there. But I covered it up. I have organized. Okay. I like to keep it organized. Those are all my. My kids know where my passwords are. If they need something. I trust my kids. They know where to get it. They'll be like passwords. Passwords. Um, This is an insert I did. I laminated. I am loving this. Especially when. 
I'm gonna have to say, when Johnny goes shopping, he overspends. Okay, like he does not stay in, babe, you do not stay in budget. It's just reality. So I go through this and I write down, like this is like basically all the stuff that we have to have at all times, or we try to have at all times. Like it took a bit to do, but like the things that our kids eat, the things that we eat that we need to have, and just kind of like a checklist reference when we are writing our list. He doesn't like to take this. I like to take this. But to be honest, he's been doing the food shopping forever. <laughs> I'll maybe go once or twice, but I'll reference this and I'll take and I'll put my little um, Sharpie marker and just mark off what we need. And it's so, so good uh, in the back of this. It's just also another way to hold a pen. So I hold my midline midliner my mild liner here and then i hold my pen here because usually my planner is like this it just lays like this and it goes under my computer so this definitely helps um to hold because this pen holder right here the original ones this is how old my planner is this is so small i can't fit anything i don't i don't like it and i don't use it so this holds that then here we go into the dinero section this is another bow um kind of like the front one that I got as a, uh, as a, what is that? As a goodie, a go out. Thank you so much to everyone that put little um, paper clips. <laughs> I was going to say pin, because they're the cutest. Like, they're the cutest. I keep a little calendar and reference somewhere, because even though, <laughs> okay, you have a million calendars. Yeah, even though I have my monthly one here, sometimes it's just easier. Like, I don't have to flip through it. I could just take this out and kind of just reference, like, paydays, uh, la di da di da It's just easier there. So this is my dinero section. You guys have seen this. I, If I'm making a cute design based on that, I'll readjust it. So this is in the shop because we uh, we love Lulu. Okay, we love her. I love her so much. And it's so cute because, hello, it's matchy matchy. Okay. <laughs> this is um, my spending tracker, like my monthly ones. This is the one for May. This was a little bow I did just for the table makers for Go Wild. So I have one there and it's just holding my May spending. Sorry guys, I had to edit that because I forgot that there was stuff here. <laughs> I'm like, oops, you can't show that. But this is just like a bow tab. This is the option without the pocket, okay? It's just the bow, laminated, cut nicely, whatever. And it just um pretty much acts as a tab and i love to put my sticky notes here because i do a lot of like checking balancing and stuff here is my budget i'm not going to show that page but this is like a clear budget like i said i customize my inserts based on what i need i've used this budget system for a very very long time and it just works for me and it's just perfect it's like i gotta fill in what i gotta fill in i don't fill in what i don't have to fill in this is just like a little ortho payment reminder um because <laughs> that braces for sophia was expensive and even though putting money down like and breaking it down for the last couple payments has definitely helped but still, look how big those payments are. Anyways, um, this is just a reminder of how many more payments we have. <laughs> and then next is Charlie. Oh, anyways, this is just a little LV vellum. Once again, any LV vellum or deco, we have our own, um, uh, what is this? Our own uh, list of designs that are available. We just can't share them in the shop. Um, so if you're interested in any LV design that you might have seen on our Instagram or anywhere, just email us. We'll send you the list and we'll go from there. This I covered up because I wanted to show somebody had asked me like, how do I keep track, um, of our like yearly, this is basically our yearly budget overview at the end of every month. I write down how much Johnny's income was my income, how much we put towards savings. These are like priorities for me because I always like to look back and kind of like compare it to last year's how much we spent on food shopping take out our electricity and our gas and then our water bill um and then just like I break it down this is like more like customization for me but we track it every month and at the end of the year when we have our final yearly review we sit down my hubby and I we just talk about listen this is how much we made this is how much we saved and that is just something that we've always done this is a yearly savings overview. I don't have these in the shop. Like I said, I customize these for myself. Um, all our <laughs> savings and investments right here. And we do do a asset net and our cash net worth. I don't know if you guys do that, but I love doing that because it's just like, wow, it makes me happy. <laughs> it makes me feel like, wow, we are accomplishing something. And yeah, it helps me keep, uh, keep on track. 
I also keep my hubby's pension information here. And like I mentioned before, I do my father-in-law's billing as well. So this is Wally's bills. That's his, once again, I customize these so much. I've maybe done one or two orders throughout the whole period that we've had our shop um, as far as customized bills. So I'm not posting it out there, okay? Don't come at me. Hey, yeah, yeah. if I have time and if you reach out to me like you want something customized, I'll... If I have time, I'll tell you, listen, yeah, we can make it work. What do you need? I'll get all the details, as many details as possible. If I don't, and if I let you know later on, just, I'm sorry, it's just a, the way that it is. Because customizing stuff takes a bit, okay? But, yeah, so we do that for him. And then um, I added one of these. This is like the little note cards that we made them. Yeah, this is kind of like my inbox. Where is it? Where is it? right here <laughs> it's just enlarged but i didn't make them so large because i just wanted something to insert i'm just keeping track of how much money we made, <laughs> we made on youtube look at that guys Ooh, thank you youtube that is so cool right uh, anyways we're gonna do a giveaway i think i mentioned it a bunch of times but we're gonna do a little mini giveaway with that but and then back here my favorite pictures uh obviously family pictures family pictures with grandma stella who's no longer with us and these haven't changed that hasn't changed it's not gonna change this is just a little envelope we have the envelopes in the shop i just laminated mine uh and i cut it and i just keep stamps address labels peruvian money my receipt for the car wash um, and then here's just an invitation for our friend's uh, baby shower. And back here, I just put like random stuff. These are just like tickets for Charlie's moving up thing. And then just, just like an important paper. But yeah, simple to the point. Like I said, me stuff, monthly stuff, weekly stuff, family stuff, and money. I keep it all in one ugh, planner. Like I said, I don't usually close this up. It's normally laying there in the middle right here. And it's perfect to go. It just works for me. Like I said, you know, I've always complained about the rings. I've wanted to switch to bigger rings, but I always gravitate back to this planner. Why? Because the Moterm have the back pocket and I don't use the back pocket. And when you lay it down, it doesn't lay down as flat. This lays down completely like I love her. Look, so like flat. And I just make it work. She's beautiful. I love the pocket configuration here. I used to have my credit cards here back in the day. I used to have cash envelopes here. The beauty about rings is that you can adjust it. You can customize to whatever it is that you need. And you take things out. You move things around. You just make it work. That's right. <laughs> you just make it work and fit your needs. And I just love. I love my planner. She's beautiful. She is getting old though. Will I ever get a new one? I don't know, until she's like no longer workable. But the rings are still good. Look at them rings, them Krause rings. And I just love her. Like I said, a lot of people might keep it very minimal. A lot of people, this is just how I do. I love decorating. I love matchy-matchy. I usually switch my dash in the front. I keep a lot of things the same, but my tabs definitely change all the time when I'm feeling a certain way and I want a new like look. And I just love the flexibility and the freedom that the rings gives me. And I love my planner. She is beautiful. I hope you guys enjoy this quick, uh, quick, <laughs> this long ass video. <laughs> but I love her and she's just mine. She's happy. And yes, I did buy it at a store. You could buy these and request them at your LV store if you want brand new. There's a lot of resellers that resell these. But I'll be iffy about it, to be honest. Um, they're still expensive as it is. <laughs> It is definitely an investment, but it's such a great investment. I just love her. I love her. You guys have seen Big Papa before. And then my little okay, oh, my little my little carry-on wallet right there. That's those are my base. And yeah, and I do have other platters, which I think I'm gonna detach. I was really thinking about detaching Big Papa. I put a post on Instagram and somebody is definitely interested in Big Papa, so I removed the post. Uh and yeah, I'm gonna work something out. I think I'm going to say goodbye to Big Papa because this doesn't get a lot of use. And it's like, I don't know. I'm still like debating whether or not to get rid of Big Papa. But they made an offer. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. To be continued. <laughs> but definitely, definitely beautiful pieces. Beautiful investment pieces. I'm not saying they're the best planners. It's just what I like. And a lot of, you know, a lot of people have them. A lot of people don't. A lot of people have Jillios. A lot of people have the Gucci planners, the Chanel covers, the... A coach cover whatever cover whatever it is whatever fits your needs whatever fits your budgets 
I really love these a lot. And yeah, it's my babe. My ride or die. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for your love, for your support. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. And until next time, or until the next time I set up my planner. <laughs> much, much love to you all. I'll see ya. Bye-bye.